morning. Good morning. Good morning. I look ridiculous with this eye patch on. But, uh, hi. Arr. I think it's sexy. Is it sexy? Do I look like the most interesting man in the world? No. So, okay. I'll talk about the eye surgery I got yesterday. But I uh, had to leave the eye, you know, covered up and taped shut till about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. And then uh, we had a softball game last night that I still wanted to go and coach at. So I went and I got this eye patch at Walgreens, which is weird. Look, it looks like it's a little cone. Looks like Madonna's bra. Um, but anyway, my eyes okay. You can't really see it behind the glasses, but it's a little puffy, a little bruised. But uh, I looked at it last night. I looked like hell. I looked like I had been booked in jail <laughs> from a fight. Yes. Nah, you didn't look like you've been in jail. Uh huh. You didn't have any ketchup stains on your shirt. I didn't have any ketchup on me. That's true. But. True. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> uh, but uh, surgery went, went okay. I can. I kind of can't see. But. Uh, yeah. That's supposed to come back later today. So, how's everybody? I know we weren't here yesterday. Everybody's good. How did the cyst uh, occur? Is there a reason why? I don't know. I don't know what just, what what it happened, how it got in there. But yeah. uh, man, it was. I was really, really freaked out about. Okay, I was really uh, scared about because I very very claustrophobic and so the thought of laying there with my eye stretched open for whatever half an hour hour very much freaked me out i'll tell you what measures they took you bought it <laughs> that's when you go i need volume much more than volume i had something in common with one of ben's draft picks this week let me think John Lennon, Dale Earnhardt, Michael Jackson. No. <laughs> yeah. It begins with a P. You better know it. Oh, wow. Well, I hope they had the right doctor administer it. Obviously, they did. What if it was that Conrad Murray guy who walked in? <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> no, thanks. Well, here's what I found out. It's like... People talking to you with masks on, I, I I don't know half of what they're saying. People are leaning over you, you're strapped down, you're kind of like, you know, they're asking you all these intake questions. They're like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the answers to these. And, uh, but they shot a little bit of that into my IV. Oof. How'd that make you feel? <laughs> I was floating on a cloud. In fact, Whatever, the surgery was over. My daughter came and picked me up, took me home, and I slept like a bear in a cave. I love it. It was awesome. All right. Uh, I'm going to back up, Brooks. Solicit two callers for Pyramid. Okay. 1025 KNIX. It's Tim, Ben, and Brooke. And we want to give away some Brothers Osborne tickets. Yeah, we need two callers to play Pyramid of Winning right now. 602-260-KNIX. Get all set up. Set it up. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, there we go. What's their tour call? We're not for everybody. Yeah. It's not for everybody tour. All right. Let's see. Got to make a card so we know who's who. Mm 
We're going to go Brooke first. Okay. Cool. You know what? We're going to start with Ben. Ben and Al. Change my mind. Oh, why is that? I just called an audible. Well, we were just talking about countries. Oh, yeah. You know, so. Um, Manhattan will no longer prosecute prostitution. Hmm. So, you know. The Big Apple. No more. Uh, also, I heard in, in California, if you steal up to twelve hundred dollars, they won't prosecute you. Yeah, like I mean, it's... so. It's like if you go like rob a Circle K, and there's fifteen hundred dollars, you're like, "Whoop, sorry, here's three hundred dollars back." Yeah, <laughs> great call, California. That's why everyone's moving out. Simbo. You're in California. You try that. One zero two five K and I X with Tim Ben and Brooke. Give me a beat. It's now time for Tim Ben and Brooke's Pyramid of Winning. That's right, October tenth, Arizona Federal Theater downtown. Brothers Osborne, the Not for Everybody tour, and we're playing the Pyramid of Winning. Ben, say hello to your co-contestant. He just goes by Awatuki Al. <laughs> hey, what's up, Al? Hey, how are we today? Doing good, brother. You ready? Ready or not. All right. All right. You and Al. Let's get it done. 30 seconds on the clock. We were just talking about okay. that uh, the continent of North America is more than just three countries. Who knew? I looked it up. It's 35. 35 whole countries. But it was 23. Yeah. What? It's got a lot of them in there. So you have 30 seconds to name as many countries from North America. Good luck. 30 seconds. Go. Okay. The country just north of us is? Canada. Yeah. The country south of us is? Mexico. Yes. Okay. Fidel Castro. Cigars. They're from? Cuba. Yes. Bob Marley, man. Bob Marley. Jamaica, man. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> there's 50 of these. We live in one of them. It's the blank, blank, United blank. United States. There you go, brother. All right. Um, on um, on uh, a leprechaun, uh, St. Patrick's Day, you wear this color. Uh, Ireland. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. How many All go, right. how we got? That was five. Five. That's Solid, Al. Pretty good. Nice. Awatuki, Al. Great. Here is uh, <laughs> Nicole in Peoria. She's playing with you, Brooke. Hey, Nicole. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you at geography? Because I'm pretty terrible. I don't know. They got a lot. So. <laughs> okay, got a lot. we could do this. Six is the number. For Brothers Osborne, 30 seconds to name as many countries from Europe. European countries, 30 seconds, go. Okay, London is the capital of? England. Yes, uh, Berlin is in this country. Germany. Yes, oh, this is where the pizza's made. Um, Italy. Yes, this is, oh, um, okay, if you're starving, you're very... Hungry. Yes, this is um, oh, where they make the the meatballs and IKEA and all that. Uh, Sweden. Yes. Oh, you just said it. You just about to say it's neutral. It's a neutral country. Oh, 
tie. Yeah, well, what do Switzerland. We got? we got a tie. We got a tie. I love it. We got a tie. First tie Ooh, in a long she's time. She's good at geography. Ooh. I know. Hang on. We'll go to our official Tim Benenbrook tie breaker. Will it be Al? Will it be Nicole? We'll find out in just a minute. 1025 KIX. I know it's a. T- okay. Okay. Let me light up a little deal here. and okay okay um ben you're up now yes hang on the phone okay hey al you're there i'm here nicole you're there i am here okay i'm going to ask a question about Uh tim ben and brooke if you know the answer don't say it shout your name we'll come to you if you're right you win if you're wrong, another person has the chance. All right, ready? Okay. Ring it with a name. Okay. On the show. Remember, shout out your name, and we'll come to you. On the show, Brooke is in charge of adopting out little fur Ow. babies. What? Al? Al, the question is... Yeah. What? Well, you can't tell him the question now. He said he's got an answer. All right, what's your answer? Al? Al? Uh. See? <laughs> Let me finish. All right. What is the name of her charity that ad- finds homes for little puppies? Uh, you said bird babies. <laughs> bird babies? <laughs> I don't know. Bird babies. Uh, Nicole, do you know? I, it, it's Brooks Blank. This isn't going very well. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's it's Brooks Buddies, but Brooks Buddies. But Think of another easier question. Yeah, it's I like that was pretty easy. It's like when they say, "Are you a robot or not?" You know, you have to, and you just refresh <laughs> with three. All right, a different set of questions. All right, here you go. Ready? Yeah. So, it's a question about KNIX. If you know the answer, shout your name. All right. Okay. What member of KNIX just won the ACM Personality of the Year? Al. Al. <laughs> Al. Who was Double it? L. Double L. Double yeah! L is right. You've got the tickets. All right. You're going to the Brothers Osborne. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Nicole. <laughs> Hang on, Al. <laughs> All right. I think a, I can. Al's a trucker. K and I X just won the ACM per. Okay. All right, we we've got the hello. We got the tiebreaker here. I can't see all the buttons now because my eyes jacked up. Oh no! Take off the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> it is that side of anyway. Uh, all right, Al and Nicole are hanging on. They just went head to head. They both got five in the pyramid of winning. It's time for the tiebreaker. So they're both listening right now. I'm going to ask a question. If you know the answer, shout out your name. It's like your buzzer, and then we'll come to you to see if you got the answer correct. All right, tiebreaker question. Pyramid of winning. What member of KNIX just won the ACM Personality of the Year? Al. Al? <laughs> Al, who was Double it? L. Double L. Double yeah. L is right. Oh. Al, you've got the tickets. All oh, right. You're going to the Brothers Osborne. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Nicole. <laughs> Hang on, Al. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that was uh, Al's truck and not just you know something that came out of it. Anyway, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Let's do it again tomorrow. This would be a lot easier to do with two eyes. I'll tell you about what happened in my surgery yesterday. Coming up in just a minute, 1025 KNIX. Whew. <clears throat> I'm really paranoid now about when I turn the phone on because when I put the phone on the air, it feeds the station. So if I start or come out of a song, that's going out over the stream, which, you know. Oh, yeah. There's a, it seems like no tolerance for now. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Here you go, Richard. It's like a like a little mini witch hat or a cup from Madonna's brazier. <clears throat> uh, uh, 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, Simba's got a fact check. Got it. Way ahead of you. Yeah. Simbo, it might have just been around whatever county San Francisco's in or the city of San Francisco. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Um, morning, Georgia. <coughs> Should we do a post about that being the tiebreaker question? Um, nineteen. <laughs> uh, good times, good times, good times. Brooke, any word on this little gal? Oh, not yet. They never let me know till Sunday night. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna scoop her up. Oh, I think she, sorry. She won't have a problem. She's just a baby. I thought uh hang on, let me see if I can pull this up here. Come on now. Oh. Huh. Jaho. Okay, I don't want to show this. <laughs> What's he doing? Um, hold on. You seen that? Okay, good. Yeah. So Check out. <laughs> Aw. Isn't that great? That's our little buddy Austin holding the trophy. I love it. Give me back to read. There, uh, there you go. Look at that kid. Uh, made me happy. <laughs> uh -huh. There's Reed. Reed on the radio. All right. Get out of here. Bloop. All right. Fact check. Boop, boop, boop. Countdown to Disneyland. That's going to be super fun. I want to go back to Six Flags. Yeah. Yeah, I went a couple of years ago. Um, I went to to Atlanta to visit my sister for Christmas. Yeah. And for whatever reason, Six Flags was open in December. Like it was they had a warm streak or something. I don't know why it was, oh. but we went and I went as a kid to Six Flags. Yeah. Boy, you talk about rides have come a long way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. It was, it was like um wow. Brooke Back sell this and plug the album release party tonight. All right. Uh-huh. Yep.
Eric Church, put a drink in your hand and join us tonight for the Eric Church Heart and Soul album release party. It's at 7 o'clock right here on KNIX. That's right. It's going to be great. Uh, So I'm back with you guys. I I took off a little early yesterday to go get some eye surgery. There's something in my eye somewhere attached to something that had to be removed. And I was a little nervous about it, you know, because I'm super claustrophobic. So... They were going to cut my eye open and then take, take it out and then uh, patch it all back together. Now, I found out during an MRI about 10 or 15 years ago, I am extremely claustrophobic. And you so, won't sit in a booth on I, the inside. I can't sit in the backseat of a car, uh, in the middle of a crowded theater. Can't do it. So the, the thought of laying there with my eye, you know, jacked open for oh, like an hour, oh, oh. that just freaked me out. <laughs> and so I let the surgeon know that. So. Yeah. She, uh, you know, brought in an anesthesiologist and let him know. And so what they did basically was they gave me propofol. Whoa. And they knocked me out before the surgery so that they could inject a bunch of shots all around my eye so that I wouldn't feel anything on my the top of my head. Uh, and then I came to before the surgery because you have to be awake during the eye surgery. So they have to, you know, if you're asleep, you could move around. And they have to be able to, like, if you need to sneeze or cough or something, they, they you have to say that so they can pull all the instruments out. <laughs> what killed Michael Jackson? It, it is. Did you get a little paranoid? Uh, no, I was I was struggling to stay with these people because they're talking to me, and I'm like, oh man, I what just want to go to sleep. Yeah. What, yeah. If, what if Dr. Conrad Murray had come in to administer <laughs> it? Would you have been nervous then? What's well, the other thing I found out? All these <laughs> nurses, doctors, the anesthesiologist, the surgeon, they're asking me questions, but I'm I'm somewhere in la la land and they all have masks on so i have no idea what they're saying to me i'm just agreeing to stuff who knows what i what i signed up for during the surgery <laughs> can we donate this to science sure yeah. fine. <laughs> so uh everything's done i'm i'm all put back together they tape my eyes shut i have to have this cover over it until four in the afternoon they said once that's done just take it off now i put it i went to walgreens and i got an eye patch because i didn't know how gnarly it was going to look <laughs> And this eye patch, Brooke, it looks like one of the cups of Madonna's conical brassiere, right? Well, it, yeah. Why is it pointy? <laughs> it, it looks like a weapon. I know. It's a little smaller. Maybe that's Ariana Grande's version. I, I, I put it on. <laughs> that's funny. It's a starter cone. Yeah. <laughs> starter cone. I put it on and I wore it. We, we were supposed to have a game last night, you know, coaching softball. So I went out and did that. Came home. Mm-hmm. I took that thing off, and what I saw in the mirror scared me because my my whole eye was just black and blue and puffy from the shots. It looks good. It looks okay now? Now it does, yeah. Last night, I looked like I had been kicked in the face by a mule, and I thought, oh, they're going to give me heck tomorrow morning. So I was going to wear the eye patch, but it looks a little bit better this morning. I think it looks fine. I mean, Barrel Boy's still giving you grief. Yeah. He's still calling you Captain Morgan and stuff, <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. Arr, arr. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, thanks for letting me sneak away from the show so that I could recuperate my vision. And now can we see our alarm clock more clearly so maybe we can be on time? <laughs> I've still uh, got some of that propofol running yeah. through. Oh, still okay. very sleepy just, in the morning. put the eye patch on. You won't have double vision from it. That's right. There you go. <laughs> Kate Hyax. Anyway, yeah. So, Simba, what day are you actually there? Week from today, week from tomorrow? We'll have to make some arrangements. And now, the intrepid Jim Sim embedded with Mickey Mouse. Don't you think that's probably going to be the happiest 
happiest place on earth. Gotcha. Okay. Um, who are all the people in these? Can you name these country stars? Uh, I can if I go to K and I X. I can't. I can't see that. Oh. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Russell Dickerson, Thomas Wright, Kelsey Ballerini, and Ryan Hurd. Ah. Good for you. Oh, by the way. So, uh, I drove myself to the eye surgery. You're not allowed to drive home, obviously, on that kind of dope. Uh, my daughter brought me home, but I heard a tip on how to get around high Uber fares. Okay. You, I don't know if it works with Lyft, but with Uber, you can schedule a ride. If you schedule a ride one hour prior to when you need it, it's the regular rate. It's not the jacked up rate. And it worked for me yesterday. It's going to cost $43 to go downtown. I mean, it's just, it's very not far from my house. And, I scheduled it an hour out to go pick up my car yesterday afternoon, and it was $13. Wow. So it worked for me. Okay. Getting ready for Snake Earl. Um, boop, boop. Hey, Ben. Is he there? No. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, In two minutes, you're going to back sell this. All right. And man. I'll put the word out for snake oil. All right, Dan. Mm -mm. I like that snake oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check yes or no. Remember when we were doing the happy half hour, we'd ask everybody <laughs> how their toilet paper was holding up. And now there's too much of it. Ah, uh, the fight bite. Ah, <laughs> uh, college. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, yeah. This was when Brooke was just warming up to the idea that her brother was not going back. He was there to stay, I was told. It's disappointing. I love the tux. <laughs> That's a sweet picture right there. All right. <clears throat> Here you come, Ben. <clears throat> <clears throat> what a 
1025 KNIX, today's best country in all time. Favorites like that one from George Strait. We're Tim Ben and Brooke. Do you love us? Do you want to be best friends? Do you want to play Snake Oil and win a prize, literally, for just deciding which thing you would buy? We're going to pitch three different products. Snake Oil is next, and we need somebody to play along at 602-260-KNIX. Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, there's our old pal, Alexander Hamelpeck. Oh, she had some. Canadian geese fly by in formation. Do you see that? Mm -mm. I guess my eyes working better. I think I saw that. <laughs> maybe, maybe I didn't. Huh. What if they implanted a chip in my eye? I agreed to it because I was kind of half there. They already did with the vaccine. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. By the way, I think Bill Gates is the greatest guy. And everyone should go get a Windows machine today. If you have a Mac, throw it away. Yes, I, I'm double vaccinated. Did Jennifer happen to mention where she domiciles? Hey. It's the only town in the valley that has its own emoji. It's a little party horn. Where's <clears throat> Oh, we got another minute. Simbo says Alexander gets the Magellan Award for finding us on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's a relatively new thing. It's a brand new app. We're just having to play by the rules. Playing we're the rules. Changing game. We're we're avoiding persecution. Barrel Boy let us out of Facebook jail, just like Moses to the promised land. I don't think I should be compared to Moses. <laughs> he was the man of dignity. If Moses wore bowling shoes and had giant nipples, that'd be Barrel Boy. We're 12 seconds. <laughs> yeah, pause. <laughs> Sit there. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You're riding down the road with Tim Ben and Brooke on your radio, or you're listening somewhere through the iHeart Radio app. Thank you for bringing us along. We're going to play Snake Oil with. Jennifer, Jennifer is on the line right now. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Jennifer is from the only valley suburb that has its own emoji, which is surprise. <laughs> you know, a little <laughs> party horn with the confetti. Why don't you make the party horn sound for us? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not ever do that again. All right. So uh, here's how it's going to go. We're going to get uh, two words each of us. We have to pitch a product real quick, and then you decide which one you're going to buy. You're the shopper in Snake Oil. You ready to play? I am ready. <laughs> it's Tim Ben and Brooks, Snake Oil Salesman. Tim Ben and Brooks, Snake Oil Salesman. Here's Barrel Boy with the words. Tim, butter casket. Butter, um, butter <laughs> casket. Uh, dearly beloved, we are here to say so long to our wonderful Aunt Edna, who was a great woman, but she was prone to loving that sugar and that butter, wasn't she? <laughs> and that's why I've asked all 18 of her pallbearers to gather around <laughs> to delicately lay her to rest. 
in the fine confinement of the thing that killed her, but the thing she loved. It's the butter casket. <laughs> And now your loved ones can go to the sweet by and by and the thing that actually clogged their arteries and killed them. Uh, get the new butter casket. Or for those of you who are conscious about calories, it comes in fat-free margarine as well. <laughs> oh, and, and uh, nice. you know butter is better for you than the margarine, they oh, say. Wow. Well, she was a bigger gal. She was a, <laughs> she on the bigger the, side. I can't it. believe it's not butter casket. <laughs> <laughs> ben, your, Ben, your yeah. words, love Crocs. Well, you know, there's only one person who could sell a pair of love Crocs today, and that's me, Chris Hoover, Brooks' <laughs> father. I bought some recently, and I got to tell you, who knew a pair of rubber shoes with holes in them would cause so much, uh, you know, <laughs> with the ladies. Oh, but no. I will have to say, <laughs> no. just ask Brooks' mother, Eleanor, no. what she thinks. I well, I have never... So just remember, folks, if the bedroom doors are crocking, don't you come and knocking. <gasps> available. Love Crocs. Available at Costco. The only place I know where to get them. I feel uncomfortable. You should. I feel very uncomfortable. Wow. Wow. Both your parents made an appearance I, there. That was quite I something. have never. <laughs> Brooke, your words. Cosmetic plunger. Cosmetic plunger. Oh. Okay. So have you ever noticed how plungers are so ugly? Mm -hmm. They're just uglier than the stuff you're plunging down, pretty much. So you have to just fancy it up and get a cosmetic plunger. Maybe bedazzle it, add a little sparkle so that you'll want to plunge down your poop, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes it more fun. A terrible chore made more fun by the cosmetic plunger. Okay, Jennifer, what are you going to buy? Are you going to buy the cosmetic plunger, the love crocs, or... The butter casket. <laughs> well, I love butter too, um, but I am not in need of that casket. <laughs> <laughs> the Crocs, the, the Crocs sound like a good good protection device, but n no, thank you. I don't own Crocs, so I too hate how my plunger is so ugly. So I'm going to go with the cosmetic. Wow! wow. wow. Brooke Woo! wins Brooke first time. Takes it for the win. <laughs> That, that, I think that might be the first product you've ever sold, Brooke. Congratulations. No, someone bought the cowboy popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have for Jennifer? I would have bought the cowboy popsicle. Daryl, what do we have? Uh, we got a Pop Murphy's Family Feast. Woo! 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 Gonna need that plunger. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't actually get the plunger. <laughs> Snake oil, no. Oh! Snake oil and uh, K and IX. <laughs> K-N-I-X, Reg Jack, from you. <laughs> oh, cracking me up. <laughs> Those were good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, Alexander, that's not going to be a problem <clears throat> because more often than not, I win on snake oil. So they keep me around to pitch all the products they sell the advertising for. I lose at everything. <laughs> uh want to talk about 50 or something uh Let's see oh <laughs> interesting did you know Brooke did you know that there is a actual fear 
of the number 666? Yeah. I think I might have it because at Dunkin' Donuts in college, I used to order that. My order came out to that, and I would always say, give me one munchkin. <laughs> give me- <laughs> I'm not trying to have my total. I, I don't mess with the demonic stuff. It's called Hexa. Casio Hex Conta Hexaphobia. Yeah, I don't mess with that. Well, Guess who was, had it? Who? who? Ronald Reagan. Well, because he's right. no, he's smart. He knows that you don't mess with the devil. Let him uh-uh, who no, hath understanding. Not today, Satan. Not today. <laughs> Reckon the number of the beast, <laughs> or it is a human number. Its number is six hundred and sixty-six. <sighs> I think it was the bacon, egg, and cheese croissant with a small coffee. I think that came out to 666. And I, I was like, like, give me a munchkin. Uh-uh. uh-uh. Can't do it. Can't do. Uh, okay. Eating 10 and a half cups of sugar at once would kill you. Um, ben. Yeah. Guitar Center. What about it? Was originally called what? Uh... <laughs> Uh, Here, six string saloon. Here's a hint. It sounds like a something Brooke would have gotten in snake oil. It was originally called the Organ Center. Oh, so when it, it was founded in 1959. I was going to say the G spot, you know, like guitar. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Ben, you're on a roll right What's now. What's wrong with that? I don't know. They sold small appliances and home organs. They changed their name to Guitar Center in 1971. And this one's a little gross, but. Yeah. James Garfield was shot in an assassination attempt and he died like uh, three weeks later. Anyway, for the last month or so of his life, his doctors fed him through his rectal cavity. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm. I saw a documentary on that actually, and it was fascinating because. Before then, they didn't have an official doctor for the president. And his doctor, like doctors didn't sterilize things. They had like a lab coat that they had done surgeries on before. They they just wore it and it was like, and they didn't, and they brought in a guy at the last minute who said, no, he's got, he's in septic shock because you didn't sterilize instruments you've worked on him. So they probably would have saved his life if they didn't know. And after that, they had an official doctor. Oh, yeah. It's weird. I always thought about that when the first surgeons went into people and were like, well, your purple thing, that big weird purple thing <laughs> is, is kind of bluish, more bluish than purple. And we think we need to take it out. Mm-hmm. Somebody interesting file. Um, Talladega, Sunday. Talladega. Should we do the six phrases that people get wrong all the time? I saw that. I think that's good. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I see 666 on people's <laughs> license plate. I'm like, absolutely not. It would change that. If my address was that, I wouldn't move in there. <laughs> Let him who hath understanding <laughs> reckon the number. Of I didn't beast. know. Maybe we talk about that. That was. Why uh, would you move into a house? The address was 666. 666, the number of the beast. I would not be singing that song, Ben. And fire was spawned to be released. Oh, it's just a song. Well, that's what they say. That's how they get you. Well, I follow it up with Spirit in the Sky. You play that, you've got to play Going on up to the Spirit in the Sky. Where I want to go. My old co-host wouldn't drink Monster Energy drinks because there was some hidden demonic... There was like a symbol on it, like a pentagram or something. Something. He was... He wouldn't watch. He wouldn't let his By kids watch Harry Potter. They really. He was very. 
They yeah. were they, they when they said let's have the little wine and cheese happy hour virtual happy hour and it ultimately is when we found out we'd won station of the year. Uh, Kelly <clears throat> from our marketing department left a box of wine in the studio for each of us to grab a bottle and take home. And they're all Arizona wineries, which is cool. But most of them had like pentagrams on them. They weren't though. I Googled it. Okay, good. You know, I wasn't about to take that if it was a demon real... wine. No, thank you. I mean, isn't wine mentioned in hotel California? Yeah. They yeah. haven't had that spirit here since 1969, yeah. but they didn't mean wine because wine's not a spirit. That's what I th was always confused about. Someone like, asked Don Henley about it and he was like, it's a stupid question. Like, don't, why are you getting caught up on? Well, technically they're right. right? But did they write that song to be about hell? <laughs> well, no, they wrote it to be about the, let me see if I can get this right. The, about the disillusion of the counterculture in the late sixties in California. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Simbo, what do you know about the counterculture in Southern California? <laughs> ben. Ben wins well, um, when he takes Adderall. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. To find it also, I had to use an old email. Then you win when you take the Adderall. Yeah. I don't take much. <laughs> Yeah, when we first launched this, we thought about streaming it to YouTube as well as Facebook, but we couldn't figure out the KNX Country password. Nobody knew how to get into the KNX Country YouTube page. So we just started our own. It's basically a song about the dark underbelly of the American dream, disillusionment of that, Okay. And about the about excess in America, which is something we knew a lot about. Huh. Greed in the music industry in the late 60s. So you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Yeah, once you get in, you're trapped. Um, we haven't had that spirit here. What, what did that mean? So I called up the captain. I said, please bring me my wine. He said, we haven't had that spirit here since 1969. Hmm. And all those voices. The hotel gone. itself could be taken as a metaphor for not only the myth making of Southern California, but the myth making that is the American dream. Where? Well, they just picked apart the you know the inside cover of that uh album i did it was a double album i need to put the intro on the front of it but yeah i got it <clears throat> i'll do that once we once we wrap things up today what's what so what do we want to talk do you want to talk about the fear of 666 or do we want to talk about phrases people get wrong up to you i think phrases okay or you talk to the 666 thing huh or we could talk whatever you guys want um, I like to think is more interesting. Six, Tim. Six, 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 we don't need you with the reverb with the devil over there. Oh, man. come on, that's Vincent Price, that's not funny. the devil. That's the intro to Number of the Bees from Iron Maiden. I know what it is, I'm just saying. From Iron Maiden, um, that's one thing about me. I don't watch <laughs> movies that have like demonic things, I don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The Omen? Do you ever see The Omen? The Omen. No, I won't watch that. I saw The Exorcist and I'm like, that's it. That's, good. that's a wrap for me. That's it. That's it. The Exorcist was pretty wicked. Not, never, never will I ever watch that again. Why my mom let me watch that? I don't know. Wow. Well. <laughs> they wouldn't let St. Elmo's Fire film. Georgetown's campus because of all the sex, premarital sex. Mm -hmm. The Exorcist? Sure. Come on. Film. <laughs> Great. The Amityville Horror. <laughs> to me, the scariest movie ever was the first Halloween movie. Dun, 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 dun. I used to live in um, D.C. and I was about 10 minutes from Georgetown yeah. off the GW Parkway. 
And right when you go into Georgetown, it's really cool. If you look to the left, you'll see that stairway. That's, it's called the Exorcist Stairway. It's this huge stairwell, stairway. It's where the uh, priest went at the very end. Really? He fell down the stairs. Oh, my. Spoiler alert. Very creepy. Like, if I see my number of followers is like, you know, 10,060, I, I freak out. So, even if it shows up in the number of followers? Yeah, I'm like, okay, quick, I need some more followers, people. I don't like it. Alexander has had a Ben moment when he went to the doctor, stopped drinking beer. <laughs> Good. Hurts when I do this. Don't do that. Right. Well, right. I went to Tim's doctor. I like Tim's doctor. Oh, Dr. Ernie. Dr. Ernie, he uh he goes, How much you drinking? I go, well, I started liked beer, but I had to you know go to the bathroom a lot. So I started yeah. drinking wine. Yeah. <clears throat> I told him how much I drank. He goes, That's that could be a problem. Yeah, we'd really like to see you tonight at 6.30 on Facebook Live, k Country. We will reveal our final k Secret Show reunion artist. We did some figuring, and I think it's going to be either Brad Paisley or Jason Aldean. All right. And then normally we do the uh, recap, you know, the rewind of all their music for an hour right after. That's going to be moved to eight because at seven, we've got the Eric Church uh, album party it's going to be good his brand new album heart and soul it was the whole thing's out tomorrow and uh we'll be uh sneaking a, a listen to it tonight at seven on knix okay we were just talking on the stream like you can watch the live stream from seven to eight every morning we're on youtube right now we've been on facebook but this is one of those conversations that i just threw a little fun fact at brooke and that is uh there's i'll get you the fun fact in a second but i found out something about you i did not know all right there is an actual fear called hexa cosia hexa aconta hexaphobia sounds like a harry potter curse <laughs> it does it's the fear of the number 666 and i mentioned it to you because you're a big fan of ronald reagan apparently ronald reagan had a fear of the number 666 yeah because we know what's up with the devil's real you have a fear of the number wow. 666 as well this is legit this is real listen i do not mess around with that number i know some people will say it's just a number it doesn't matter but in college uh, i went to school in new england dunkin donuts is king and i would order bacon egg and cheese croissant with a small coffee and it came out to six dollars and 66 cents oh. and i said nope give me one munchkin <laughs> I, i'm not messing around with that number <laughs> one munchkin beats the devil and let him who hath understanding reckon <laughs> don't the do that ben I don't, she doesn't even like don't Ben. like it yeah. which is a human number but if i i've seen license plates and people's address at six six i i don't care if the house was half the price it's worth mm -hmm. i would not move in to that would you You'd move into a house I, that was 666 East if it was Elm Street. Half the price of another house? Of course I would. I would not. I'd change my not license right. plate. <laughs> I do right. not mess with the devil, the demons. <laughs> I, not today, Satan. Uh -uh. Wow. Wow. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do it. How about the Hotel California? Will you listen to that song? Isn't that about hell? No, well, no, not really. You can interpret it, but it doesn't say it. Okay, because you're a big fan of the Eagles. But no 666 for you. No, oh. no, thanks. If anything, my total comes out, I will put something back or buy something else because I'm not taking my chances. One less munchkin. So the number <laughs> is not Stop doing 666. <laughs> Y'all laugh. Just saying. Better okay. watch out. <laughs> watch your back. Head on the swivel. Watch it. <laughs> All the roads are icy, and the drunk devil is out there. <laughs> oh, drunk devil. Would that not be a great band name? Drunk devil. Drunk devil. Can the get devil get drunk? Listen, I'm from the South, and we don't play with the those things. My brother. You don't play with a Ouija board, man. No, oh, we do no, not. No, 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 my no. brother got this shirt. <clears throat> it was about Vegas, and it said Sin City. Yeah. Oh. And my mom wouldn't let him wear it. <laughs> Now. I was reading a keyword for the $1,000 extra paycheck, and I couldn't quite, with my blurred vision, read it. 
I thought it was Sin. I thought that's aggressive. We're getting a little over the line here. I think it was turned out it was Sun. But she didn't um, like us to wear anything with skull on it. Yeah, I have that cool Arizoniac shirt that's like the Dia de los Muertes thing. And uh, you said your mom wouldn't, she wouldn't be okay. Yeah, no, Alexander. My mom would never let us dress as Satan, which is hilarious because I'm a huge Duke Blue Devil fan. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But he's blue, so oh. it's fine. The real devil's red. You know. Oh, yeah. Would you have hung out at the devil house? That was a big ASU hangout. Yeah, probably. Because, again, I'm a blue devil fan. I don't take it that, like, deviled eggs. I eat deviled eggs. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not crazy. It's just when the number 666 appears or, like, we're glorifying the devil is, like, that's my uh, thing where I'm out. But Would you buy a dirt devil? Yeah. Like, I'm not. Can you sing along to Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. I mean, devil went down George. Like, I'm not a crazy, like, crazy person. <laughs> I just order extra munchkin. We're good. Although, I haven't been to Dunkin' Donuts in, I don't know. Since they stopped calling it donuts. Oh, it's just Dunkin'. You're right. I guess. Well, one interesting fact later. We now know that Brooke is uh, afraid mm. of the number 666. Good or it is a human number. Well, to quote my favorite line ever this woman spoke at our church and she, she wrapped up her message by saying every morning i want to be the type of woman that when i get up and my feet hit the floor i want the devil to say oh no she's awake <laughs> <laughs> oh dear not today oh, not dear. today all right well, we're going to say so long with a shot of a guy splashing blood on a wall. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. That's just red paint. <laughs> you don't know, Ben. Ben, you don't. <laughs>